Emotional testimony today in the trial of Michael Hirokawa, who's accused of brutally assaulting a woman in his downtown apartment. The victim was on the witness stand and described what he allegedly did to her. Manola Morales reports. The woman testified that she drove Hirokawa's car and took him home to Capitol Place because he had too much to drink. When they got there, he opened a bottle of wine and she said he drank a glass while she took a sip. She says he then started talking about having her two kids stay in his spare bedroom and her staying in the master bedroom, which made her feel uncomfortable. The woman testified through an interpreter. I don't know why he said such a thing. I just thought he's going uh, way too uh, forward. She said she wanted to leave, but he then started pulling her into the bedroom. When he tried to pull me towards the room, I tried to pull myself um, away uh, from the room to opposite direction. She says he then overpowered her and sexually assaulted her. There was a point that he, um, I couldn't breathe because he was choking my neck. The woman cried as she testified, saying it hurt so bad and that she felt helpless. It was so strong, there was nothing much I could do, so I kept begging and asking him to spare my life, and I just, just kept scratching his um, back. There was not much I could do because he was so strong. She says he eventually calmed down and fell asleep, and that's when she escaped, leaving a trail of blood from his apartment to the hallway and the elevator where she was found. The defense said Hirokawa was drugged, and he has no recollection of attacking her. During cross-examination, Hirokawa's attorney made a point that the victim was on a student visa and was not supposed to work. Yet she told jurors that she was working when she met Hirokawa. You knew that was in violation of the immigration laws? Yes. Trial resumes on Friday. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.